Okay, chat. We're going to be doing a KJ tutorial on Ascent now. Because why not? KJ is not like an agent, I mean. I was thinking, you know what, fuck it. Since KJ is so S tier, might as well just teach her on like almost every map in the game. Might as well, right? So. Oh, God. <sighs> Okay, so starting off, I honestly would rather just start off on uh, attack than defense, so let's run over to attack. Okay, so starting off on attack, how are you going to play as KJ is mainly uh, two different ways, obviously, because you know KJ is KJ. When you're playing KJ, you're doing one of two things. You're either lurking for your team, holding rotates, or you're basically setting your teammates up while watching flanks. So if you're if you're playing like normal KJ, what I do what I do normally on default is straight up uh, a legit. If my teammates are going uh, B, I usually sit up on. Uh, I usually set like a tur like here, and either I'm watching top mid like this, or I'm waiting until this tur pops on A main, and then I'm swinging off my turret, right? That's what I do if I'm lurking, right? If my teammates are going B, I'm literally just like lurking up here, basically. Um, if my uh, if my teammates are going A. I usually like to do this right here. I usually either go tiles and like hold the rotates down mid, or I do like my personal favorite. Now watch. I'll put my turret like right here. And I legit walk down B, uh, B main right here, and I'm watching like this market angle. And then if no one pops up, I usually just go down here and watch this angle right down CT here, because you might not, you never know. There's like a KG on the other team. They typically like to put their turret here, maybe here. You're just gonna position yourself like right fucking here, basically, where you're not being like spotted by market. So you're just gonna be watching the fucking rotate. So basically, if you're holding right here. You know you got whoever is just anchoring fucking B basically. You got you got you basically got anyone that's like anchoring on B. So yeah, that's about it. Now if you're playing with your teammates, right? If you're playing with your teammates and like setting them up, uh, A site relatively easy. Um, first you might want to put your like alarm bot like right here. Actually, no, that's a terrible alarm bot. You probably want to put your like alarm bot like right here because you're sending your teammates up, so yeah. Now, how I play KJ when I'm sending my team teammates up, I usually just like I don't go with them like this and then like toss my like, mollies like this because obviously I, I, I need to watch the flanks too, right? Although, very good mollies, but I need to, wa I need to watch my teammates' flanks, right? Maybe. Maybe I need to set my teammates up and then go for like a late lurk, right? That's typically what like KJ is meant to be for, right? So if you're setting your teammates up, here's how you're gonna do it. You're gonna sit up on this corner. You're gonna look right up on this little spike right here. And you're gonna look a little to the left of the spike. Literally just hold, like very much horizontally look towards the left right here. Right here on this little spot right here. I don't know how to like I don't know how to like exactly like line it up any other way, but uh, that that's how I lined it up. So yeah, legit, just like right here, and then like right here, right in this area. And then uh, I left click this molly right here. It'll land straight for J. No, it's not supposed to land there. I'll tell you that. I'm not supposed to land there. It's supposed to land right around. So it's to land for Jenny, basically. There you go. That one landed for Jenny. So I threw it like, I just landed it up with this like white bit here, not the blue bit, the white bit here on on the left here. 
What the fuck? Okay, um, something weird is happening here. What the fuck? Placing swamp grenade. Okay, I'm not going crazy. Okay, so tip. Okay, <laughs> when you're sending up your teammates, left align with this white line here, align horizontally, and then throw it. Should land straight for Denny. There you go. All right, that's the first molly. That's the first molly you should use, right? Now the second molly. The second molly you're using is the same same position right here but you're jumping this one's just gonna land heaven like this this one's gonna land just on heaven and this molly is very it's a very useful molly right here it prevents people from peeking and you know whoever whoever honestly peeks off that molly or tries to go back into heaven through that molly they're gonna get they're gonna get ticked a lot of damage basically so when you're playing kj you're gonna be setting up your teammates like this and then going on late lurk. So for example, we'll do like this. And then, and then Molly's. That's the Jenny Molly and finally that's the Heaven Molly. And then you're going on the late lurk basically. You're going on the late lurk and then you know you see like whoever you can get either down mid, maybe on the B main flank or, or uh, through tree here since your teammates are going A here. So yeah, you're going on a late lurk through a tree, right after you do the mollies. On B, it's a bit different. There's a lot of ways you can go about it, but typically you're just going to put your turret like this. And a lot of the times KJs usually just like go with their team and then, you know, use their mollies like this. And you know, to do like this. Or they save their mollies for bomb, which is fine, whatever. Um, how I typically go about it is I usually stand here and I I line it up like I line my molly up like this. Hey, what's up, uh, Timoteo? What's up? I usually line it up like this, jump throw, and it should land four stairs basically. This is a very good molly for anyone crossing from CT into stairs or for anyone that's just generally on stairs. How are you? I'm doing all right. How about you? How are you doing? That molly is very good. Um, as far as like any other molly goes, um, if you really want it, like the second molly should either be like right here or like right here, but like a majority, of the t a majority of the time, you're just gonna go with your team on the site because they they need your second molly or some shit, or they need you to hold B main. I love watching the stream. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So when you're going B, you're just gonna set up like this, and basically there's two options, right? After you do this molly, either you go with your team and help them set up, and you just watch B main like right here. You just stay in B main. Or you could go on a late lurk here, down mid, watching the cat angle, going down arches, maybe hold, holding this little flank right here for like a couple of seconds. You know, going down mid here, go, going uh, going into market on the lurk, or just wrapping their CT entirely. So if you see no one market, go to their CT, you'll get free picks basically. So, yeah. Um... That's basically just attack. If you're doing anything, okay. If you're doing anything like down like the mid area, right? It depends on what your team wants to do, right? If your teammates want to, um, if your teammates just want to go down mid, typically I set up like this with uh, KJ, and I have nothing to do with B main because you know it's whatever. Oh, that's a terrible turret. Like if your teammates want to go uh, go A, I have like a turret set up right here, and I'm just watching A main like this, or you know, like on on default on like defaults where your teammates are trying to like set up for like mid or like majority control, I usually have a turret set up here, and I'm just watching top mid basically. That's about it. Um, on defense. Now there's two ways of playing defense, in my opinion, right? 
Now, if you're anchoring B, there's there are two turrets I very much like. This one right here, on top of switch, and this uh, contact here here for B main. Right. If I'm if I'm anchoring alone, right. If I tell my teammates, okay, like stack towards A, right? I got B, right? I'm gonna set my contact turret up like right here just to tell my teammates early that oh yeah they're gonna like come B main like pretty fast right and then my teammates gonna rotate very easily right uh thank you for the follow uh crystals hey how's it going wondering if you'd be interested in custom designs no I'm not I'm not interested in the custom designs I'm just uh chilling right now but thank you though thank you um this alarm bot here down mid. Why would I put alarm bot down there? It's because it's the yeah no worries yeah uh, that's all good. Uh, it's just to help. It's basically just to help your market player just hold like both B main and mid a lot easily. So if they if uh, any enemy comes across alarm bot, your your teammate can just shoot the person that's like uh, off the alarm bot. So yeah, it's a very good alarm bot. So yeah. <laughs> Now your mollies, I usually just save the mollies, but if honestly, I usually just use one and then like, like I usually just save the second one, right? I usually just put one for like B main and that's it. I usually just like put a molly for like the B main swing and that's about it. If I put, if I were to put any like molly for like, like secondary molly, I just put like one like right here. For uh, that has to be a bit better. Uh, for lane and uh, switch, basically like this. Yeah, that's slightly better. For the lane and switch, basically. So yeah. But majority of time, I'm like majority of times, I'm putting my turret like right here, and then uh, I'm playing up like right here. Uh, also have like Molly right here. I'm si I'm si I'm usually like position positioning myself like this on lane. So that when uh, they pick, they pick the turret and then they pick off my molly, I get like a free pick right here, and I can jump back back down on site basically. So, yeah. And if they try to chase me down, I'll have like a second molly like right there, as well. So like for example, like uh, mid round, I'm like, okay, I have like a setup right here. They they catch my turret, they break my turret. They're trying to entry on the site. Pop the molly, get a kill, and then drop down, pop this molly, possibly get another kill if they try to swing you. So, yeah. Um, the Honestly, in my opinion, the only time you play CT is if, like, you, you either have no help uh, on B site, or your teammates straight up just ask you, like, to, just don't anchor B, play CT, play, like, the retake. That's about it, so. On A... Um, it's rather simple actually. Like A for me is like rather simple than B because A, A honestly A is just the like much easier site to hold with KJ than uh, B site. But it's literally like your fucking choice. I'd like me. I'd much rather like set up for B. But yeah, typically A is like the easier site to uh to hold. So yeah. Uh. So for alarm I put it right here. For A site, I put a turret up right here so it watches the uh, the A main swing and the uh, the tree swing. So if people are swinging from tree, they get spotted by the turret like that. So uh, the two mollies that I would typically use is uh, this one and uh, this one right here. So because if they get spotted by the alarm bot they will be basically forced to like try to back off like like this or if they try to hug the tree right here you're probably gonna have someone with like flashes like be like okay i'm flashing through the smoke and then this person like is dc pick right here that molly is very good because it literally forces a person to like to, like basically hug this hug this wall right here and if they try to go back through the door it's gonna be a lot of chip damage it's gonna be quite a bit of chip damage for them so yeah this molly, obviously, any enemy trying to go through the fucking door, they're gonna get fucking shit on, you know? You yourself are probably gonna, like, hold from, like, right here while your, uh, your teammate smoked off that. You can easily just swing this or even, like, swing, like, right here from behind dice. Maybe, like, on Jenny, 
get it like an easy kill whip right here. There's multiple ways of doing it, but that's typically. Oh my god, my fucking. <laughs> that's typically how I set up for a site. But the second way to set up is obviously just switching up your mollies like this, so you can just. Ba just fu like fuck up the enemies when they try to path towards this way basically that's about it like you can fuck up the person on switch you can fuck up the person trying to go up jenny and then let's say you're holding down hell they're basically forced to like swing this and it's like an easy kill for you and you will like if you're in hell basically you know obviously if you're like back dice you can pop those mollies and get these like free kills over here maybe your back gen again free fucking kills so yeah those are like two like highly recommend mo re highly recommended mollies so yeah um going into general kj ults now if you're attacking a this uh ult is very good um i don't typically like this ult a lot of the times because uh this ult can be very much be taken advantage of Due to the fact that, number one, a person can still, like, hide hell and just take full advantage. Uh, and also, so, like, an op can be, like, sitting right here, or someone can be sitting right here and just take full advantage and not get detained whatsoever. So I, w I would much rather, straight up, just, like, take sight and then uh, use the cage ult. Like, straight up, just, like, take sight and uh, cage ult, like, right here, basically. I'd much rather do that, but, you know, it's whatever. Um, for B, obviously, like, I don't even think I need to show it, but for content purposes, fuck it, sure, whatever. It's this one right here. It, it It's, like, hard to fuck up. Like, this one is just, you, you, you it covers everything, like, legit just place it, like, right there and you're good, like, you're, you're bi bing chilling, basically. If people constantly Odin spam your shit, just straight up just put your, uh, shit right here. And, and just straight up just hope that your teammates clear this, basically. That's about it, so, yeah. Uh, what's up? to do when uh, you're on defense as KJ and you want to ult so this is like very complicated on B you want to ult like this this is like this is like a very bad ult people can just be hiding boathouse but if you coordinate as a team and be like okay we're gonna take this and we're gonna ult like this the yes this is a very like good ult but it's also risky I'll tell you why oh that's not it <laughs> I, let's just wait a bit because uh, that's not a good ult <laughs> that can easily get spammed all right let's just okay that's a good ult yeah that's a good ult okay so basically like this place is like right here uh this is a good ult but it's also risky due to the fact that like it's basically due to the fact like oh people can easily just be swinging from stairs swinging from lane to break the fucking ult so me personally i'd much rather straight up just take b main because most likely and i'm only saying most likely there's only gonna be one person and probably nobody holding b main and straight up just all like this straight up just all like this so that you you like you as a team don't get fucking pressured to like hold the ult from both angles you could just like hold this right here and then the enemies just have to swing you from one angle and then if they try to go through ct it's easy claps it's basically easy claps for you like they're just gonna get fucking sprayed by you guys basically so i'd much rather just uh ult from b main if you're if you're retaking b with the kj ult i'd, I'd much rather just ult there 
So yeah. On A. Now. This is like the typical over here. To use, but I mean, if you really can. I'm only saying if you can. Because, I mean, it's a pretty brain dead ult. I'm gonna be honest, it's a pretty brain dead ult. Because, like, how, like number one, how the fuck are you gonna get this position right here? Because the enemies are gonna be, like, right there spraying at you. But think about this. If you somehow get into this position right here and ult, it's probably because the enemies haven't broken the door yet, right? If you haven't broken the door, like, okay, let's say the door's closed right here, right? So let's say door, like, let's say door's closed, right? You cleared this, you cleared this, and you've cleared this, right? You can ult here. Like, no pro no problem, you can fucking ult here. Like, no problem, right? And they can barely hide hell here. Like, barely. Very fucking barely. That's, like, the only spot you would need to clear. And off this ult, they can't hide wine. They have to hide here or ba the very back of hell, basically. Like, that's the only place they can hide. And there you go. You can just break the fucking door. And then, boom. You popped out, right? And if people try to rush your ult, you and your teammates... Honestly, taking gun like taking gunfights from is not that hard, bro. Like... It, honestly, if they try to break the door and try to swing the ult, like you guys have like easy fucking swings. Honestly, it 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 it's a very unbeatable ult, right? But if you want to do the normal ult right here, here's how it goes. Yeah, right there. But they have wine. But guess what? You could just molly it. Very simply, just, just straight up as Molly. I did that so fucking casually too, holy fuck. <laughs> I did that so fucking casually too, hold up. I did that so casually, I, I forgot the lineup, but I did that so fucking casually, man. <laughs> holy shit. <laughs> I did that so fucking casually. Oh shit, I fucking missed it, god damn it. <laughs> I literally, just, I did that so fucking casually, bro. Holy fuck. Oh, but that's so fucking good. Holy shit. Alright, so basically, what I'm looking at when I'm uh, doing my fucking molly is... I, I don't even know how to explain it. I'll be, I'll be, I don't know how to fucking explain it. I'll just do it again, then I'll explain it. I'll do it again, then I'll explain it. Alright. Alright. <laughs> how do you spawn thingy? Alright, so, basically, what I'm looking at is legit, I'm looking at this right here, let me turn on my music, this is not good music to use, this is good, so I'm looking at this little corner right here, I don't know if like you can see like this little brick right here, I'm standing like right here, and I'm looking at this on my UI right here. And look where my UI is. You see where the arrow is from, like, the right-click variant? You see where that is? Legit, have that, have that, like, on your... Have you, have your, have that bit of the UI on that fucking bit of, like, the brick. And straight up, just jump through. Just jump through. It'll land straight for wine. There you go. Like that. Uh, when, when to do it is, like, four seconds. Like this. Like watch this shit. I'm throwing it at like seven and it'll, it'll land at four. Oh no, I threw a little too early, but you got the idea. Oh fuck. I fucked it up, chat. <laughs> Let me do it again. I'm throwing it at like seven. And people like holding wine are just gonna get fucked, basically. Basically, it. 
You can throw it a bit earlier if you want, like that doesn't it doesn't really matter. But you're basically just forcing them just to get fucking detained. You can throw it immediately if you want. It will have have the same fucking result. Just throw it throw it whenever you want, honestly. My look. They're, they're just gonna they're just gonna get mollied or they're gonna get fucking detained basically. So yeah, that's like the combination basically. So basically just ult stand right here. Ping, look where the UI is, and then jump through. I fucking missed it, fuck. <laughs> I fucked it up, no, I fucked it up, fucked it up. Again. <laughs> Molly. UI. Ping the UI. If you want, and then jump through. This should not fuck up. There you go. There you go. Alright. Sheesh. I think uh, that should be it for KJ. I think so, yeah. And in order for KJ to be OP in general, even on ascent, you just have to have confidence in your... On defense, you have to like... You have to be aware at all times of what your teammates are doing so that you can decide what to do for yourself, especially on uh, when you're anchoring. So, like, uh, if your teammates are, like, if you're anchoring A, maybe, like, on dice or in hell, like, you're t you can t ask your teammate for, like, a dart or for, like, a fucking flash for you to anchor. Otherwise, if you don't typically get help when you're anchoring site, just don't anchor site then. Straight up, just wait for your team and just hold like heaven, maybe like tree or some shit. Just don't hold sight then if you're not going to get help from your teammates. That, that's basically it. That's basically how to be OP on KJ, right? Um, on attack, basically, literally what I just said, legit, just set, like, set, your teammate, set your teammates up and just focus on the late round, basically. Set, just set your teammates up and focus on the late round. Whether it's uh, setting them up with the mollies on sight takes, or it's with like it's with like lurks and you're basically just like listening and you're trying to be aware of like the rotates basically that's like very good info for your team as well when you're lurking and you're like just making your team aware instead of like just taking fights you don't have to you don't have to just take fights and everything and just kill everyone you fucking see on a lurk you just like can give your teammates like info on like where everyone is right if you're not feeling that confident in your aim just give your teammates the fucking info and that's it so yeah, that is the uh, KJ tutorial, so hope you guys enjoyed.